So after a couple of very enjoyable weeks photographing locally, I've decided to revisit Snowdonia in Wales. Now, it's wet as usual, which is absolutely fine. But what I wanted to do, you know, I'm here for a few days and I wanted to revisit some of the locations that I discovered back in May, I think it was. Then hopefully do some exploring and find some new spots too. So I was out in a fantastic forest this morning, uh, which I produced a video at back in May. And I don't know what it was, I just wasn't feeling particularly inspired. So rather than force anything, I decided to go for a bit of a drive, see what I could find. And I just spotted some really nice mossy trees near the roadside. So I pulled into a convenient lay-by and I've just come for a walk. And it's fantastic, it's, it's lovely. Got this little narrow gorge, all these mossy trees everywhere, the atmosphere and noise from the water running down. It's lovely, so I don't know how far it goes, how many opportunities there are, but I'm quite enjoying it so far, and I just love that anticipation and excitement of having found somewhere new. So, uh, I just, just to kind of kick things off, I just came across this scene here, and it's really nice. We've got, we can see the waterfall, small waterfall, just down in the distance there. We've got the rock face on the right hand side. <coughs> And then all these mossy branches which are just reaching down from the bottom right hand corner. Uh, one, a couple of the branches there are following the same line as the moss that's coming down the ridge. We've got some nice arrangements for fallen leaves. So what I'm doing is I've framed up a 4x3 on here. I'm just using some of the leaves and some of the ferns down in the bottom right hand corner just to create some nice edges which are finished off nicely. And we've got the darkness of the water just finishing off the bottom left hand corner. And yeah, just that feeling of all the branches coming down, but then having that extra bit of depth with the waterfall in the distance. So yeah, I think, it, I think it's quite, quite nice. There's some nice colours, some nice texture and detail to it. So uh, I'm shooting at F11. I want most of it in focus, just so, you know, focus on the cliff face there, get that in focus. That will get all the mossy branches sharp as well and get a little bit of detail in the waterfall. But I'm going to take an underexposed frame as well just in case I'm losing detail in the bright whites of the waterfall back there, I can just paint in that slightly darker version in Photoshop afterwards. So yeah, it's quite nice. Nice shapes, nice colours, um, a nice start. By the way, I am using the Sony A7R 4 at the minute. I, don't worry, I haven't bought one. I have no intention of buying one either. Uh, but Sony reached out and said, do you want to borrow one for a couple of weeks? So I thought, why not? give it a whirl so I'll see how we'll get on with this over the next few days so yeah we'll uh, wander down here a little bit longer we haven't got a, a huge amount of time left before it gets dark um, so if I don't find anything else today then I'll certainly be back out early tomorrow morning So I enjoyed wandering around that shallow gorge yesterday evening. It was just nice to see somewhere new. The, the light very quickly started to fade, so I just had to kind of pack up and leave. But there's definitely a lot of potential there, so I'll look forward to hopefully going back this week. But for now, we've got another very dreary and dull day here in Snowdonia. So I've come back to a woodland which I discovered uh, earlier this year, and it's a fantastic place. It's proving very challenging today. I've been wandering around for about an hour already, but I've not really seen anything that's really struck me. Um, but it's a very interesting but complex woodland. There's lots of these low level sessile oaks. Uh, there's quite a lot of complexity to the understory as well. Um, but there's some lovely colour in terms of the mosses, but because of the complexity of shapes and lots of twists and turns everywhere, it's it's a challenging place to kind of make sense of that and find some shapes that just work nicely together uh, together with whatever backdrop we have to deal with 
But I'll, I'll keep plodding, plodding away for about another hour or two, uh, see what happens and then see what the afternoon brings as well. Um, but either way, either way, it's going to be useful in some way whether I take a photograph or not, but fingers crossed. Right, so I finally found my first photograph and it's, it's quite nice, I'm not like massively excited by it but I think the thing is I've got this idea in my head, you know I'm open to anything that I'm presented with but I do actually have an idea that I want to, to try and make work as well because the thing is that any woodland that I go to I want to really try and capture the, the characteristics and the general feeling that I get from the place. And for me, the thing that dominates here is these squiggly, squirming sessile oak branches just reaching out into the sky. Um, and I'm struggling to find a composition that really gets the most from that. I think better conditions would help rather than this flat light. Um, but yeah, it's just not working for me yet today. But I, I will keep on trying, I'll keep on looking. Hopefully come back this week too. So what I'm doing to start with is just starting just with something a little bit more simplistic. I've managed to isolate an oak tree back here. It's a lovely tree, the thing that it just caught my eye as I was walking along. We've got this branch which just reaches out and is just catching some of that soft light. And there's just a little peppering of yellow leaves. Only a few, but they're there and the, you know I noticed them, so I'm making use of that too. And down in the foreground here, we've got all these mossy boulders and what I quite like is they're just giving a little bit of contrast, but that green of the moss just kind of leads down and then goes up the tree, across the branches. And like I say, we've got that one reaching out into the light. And that's just contrasting against the other kind of more earthy and gray colors in the scene because the backdrop, even though there's a lot going on, there's not a great deal in the way of color, which is making the subject stand out. Uh, there's some of the kind of dead bracken down in the foreground too. And there's, this, there's some deadfall, there's a fallen branch down there. And I try to, when possible, is, is to include some of the deadfall rather than going down there and moving things around. Um, and it's all part of the story of woodland and, you know, stories that I like to try and capture sometimes. There is one thing that I just recently noticed, I didn't notice it straight away. There is a fence in the background, which is a bit of a shame. I typically try and avoid take, taking photographs with any kind of man-made elements, but it is disguised a little bit. It just sort of seems to blend in a touch. Um, I might be able to tone it down afterwards a little bit in post-processing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a bit of a shame, but it's not going to stop me from taking the photograph in this instance. So I've squared up a, uh, a square, I've set up a square composition. And the reason for that is because that's included the most important elements in the scene. It's allowed it to have a little bit of negative space, but not too much that it feels as if we're just watering down the effect of the tree itself. I wanted to kind of keep the attention of that flow of green, uh, but just give it a little bit of breathing room. You might have noticed that I'm using a different tripod at the minute, and the reason for that is because I am shooting quite often above eye level now, and I'm shooting on slopes quite frequently, so I just needed something with that little bit of extra leg length, and this one sort of seems to be working quite well for me at the minute. Um, so yeah, that's that. Shoot at about f10. That should get most of it in focus. Um, I'm not sure, I think mate, I'm, I'm out with my friend Dave, I think he must be on the other side of the hill here, Meg's just keeping an eye on him. Um, but yeah, that's that one in the bag. I'm going to walk along this ridge line, see if I can find some nice shapes in the branches and then, fingers crossed, we'll get something else.
we decided to abandon the other woodland just for just for today anyway we'll definitely go back because there's huge potential there but you know sometimes you just need to come away and then go back with fresh eyes so it was time to explore again uh, so we've driven down this valley uh, found a car park crossed over a river and then we've just had a short hike uphill and then come across this area of lovely oak trees again again lots of moss lots of mossy rocks and it's really really nice i think there's um lots of potential the lights kind of in in and out you know we haven't got anything in terms of moody atmosphere or anything like that so i'm really just trying to make the most of the light that's available and pick out some nice forms and shapes in the trees and then taking advantage of we've got a bit of a mountainside on the opposite side of the valley there so taking advantage of that um, because it's allowing me to bring in some really nice structures in the tree branches against that nice solid backdrop so we've not been here particularly long it's probably not that long until it gets dark but i've managed to find a composition which i quite like and i'm continuing the the square crop format i think uh, but basically these oak trees just on this very steep hillside caught my eye um, and there's a few things that I like it's quite there's quite a lot going on but that's what I like is trying to find some order in all this mess and I think I've said many times before that I really like central components in my photographs and what struck me here is that we've got this foreground tree which splits off and then right through the middle we've got a branch of a tree on the left hand side just comes straight into view and it's lovely form and mossy branches are right in the middle of the frame so it just fills up that space so well and creates a lovely balance and then we've got trees kind of bordering the left and right edges and also there's just not many but there's a few leaves just lingering on and the brown more than more than orange uh, there's a little bit of orange coming through but the color in there the color in them is very complementary to the color that's in the mountainside and then just at the end of the branches they turn kind of gray gray and white where the, the moss kind of can't cling on to the finer branches so um yeah i think it works and um, it's very windy so it's been quite difficult to get one where everything's quite still and sharp so i have tried my best um, i don't want to kind of compromise too much by using too high of an iso but what i also decided to do is if you can't beat the wind then use it so I've just put a three stop filter on as well and I just thought I'd try one and purposely capture some of the swaying branches and just try to get a bit of that mood I think and a bit of that feeling you know because that's one of the thing that I noticed that I'm noticing particularly this afternoon is the wind and the challenge of that so I thought I might as well get a, a shot with the feeling of wind in it um, so we'll see how that turns out um, there can be a little bit hit and miss oh and the light actually was just changing quite frequently so we just had a little little lift of ambient light which really made a difference to kind of lift the mossy details on these but yeah anyway have a look at that see what you think and i'll go and try and find something else I think I'm going to end this episode here it's been another challenging day shall we say probably a little bit more difficult than I anticipated to be honest which is absolutely fine because even if I don't regard the images as keepers it's still been highly beneficial to be out and I get a huge amount of joy from coming out and discovering new locations and this was a, a lovely loop to do just a really nice way to spend three hours out with a camera and getting to know the location this valley the way the light falls the way as the sun was setting it kissed the tops of the trees which was really nice um but yeah yeah i'm really looking forward to coming back and then hopefully at some point under some nice atmospheric conditions um, but we're very hungry now so we're going to get back have a nice hearty dinner but thank you very much for watching this episode and as always i hope to see you for the next one